So let's move to the third Greek word for love, agape. This word reflects the notion that we, as members of the human species, have a special duty to love other members of the species. This love for humankind is the form of love that drives activists to support the elimination of the death penalty, causes philanthropists to give vast sums of charity, inspires caring people to volunteer in third world countries, and leads people to help those affected by disasters. We all have that altruistic part of us that wants to give to society or at least to others in need. This is agape, the fine art and even emotion of loving people as members of humanity. It means we have a sensitivity to them that exceeds being polite. It means we pay attention to them beyond just keeping them from being angry with us. It means helping them just because they are people, not necessarily because they are nice people. And helping them even when they find accepting help difficult. It means telling them bad news with sensitivity. It means not being brutally frank and blunt. In short, it means being aware of their needs, feelings, and difficulties. This type of caring is discussed in many ways by many authors. John Maxwell says it very explicitly. And I quote, effective leaders know that you must have to touch people's hearts before you ask them for a hand. That is the law of connection. All great communicators recognize this truth and act on it almost instinctively. You can't move people to action unless you first move them with emotion. The heart comes before the head, unquote. 